12.1 million and this is a reduction of 12.9 and this is primarily due to like Christoph was saying a lot of the ARA stimulus projects going away um, and that actually means success for us you know we've successfully spent the money doing the projects um, either through our sister agencies or through um, uh, the programs that we did in-house, you know, such as the nonprofit or the condo or the small business programs, um, where we've successfully finished those. So the, the 41.1 is broken down into four main activities. We have the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Division that is budgeted at 5.8, and that is a reduction of 17.6. This was a key division that got like 8 million of WAP, um, the Weatherization Assistance Program, um, stimulus funding and also a lot of the block grant, the energy efficiency and conservation block grant funding was also housed here. Um, and then in the energy affordability division, we have 2.8 million, which is a slight reduction of 1.1 million dollars. And this division supports the and the energy assistance benefit payments that go out to our low income residents. Um, as you know, we have two service centers that provide the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. And um, based on our projections, from what we're hearing on the federal level, as Christoph said, we expect the grant to go down, the federal grant to go down um, a little bit. So we, uh, we have budgeted 12.9 um, in the energy assistance benefits activity. And this represents a reduction of 3.7 million. And then finally, the Utilities Management Division, we have 19.9 million budgeted here, and this is an increase, and a lot of it is due to the Sustainable Energy Utility, um, of the activities supported by, or authorized by the Clean and Affordable Energy Act of 2008. So that is, um, those are the components of the 41.1, and I'll just provide a little more um, detail um, of that of those funds, um, as was already mentioned, the renewable energy incentive program, fully funded at its authorized amount in the proposed budget at, of two million dollars, as well as the SEU contract of fifteen million. These are both two key components of the entire sustainable energy trust fund, which, as we know, is funded by an assessment on the utility companies which is budgeted at $18.6 million. So the rest of uh, those funds come from the, the SEU board activities as well as the independent review. There will be an independent audit of the, a, f a financial audit of the SEU's activities, you know, just to make sure that it's achieving um, or sp what it should be doing. And then we have the Energy Assistance Trust Fund, which is also funded by an assessment on the utility companies, and this is budgeted at 2.3 million. So, um, moving on to LIHEAP, in addition to the federal grant, it's also supported by local funds, and it's proposed in FY12 to be supported by 4.6 million of local funds, and this represents a reduction of 309,000. So not a huge hit on the local side um, for supporting energy assistance payments. And then what also goes towards um, LIHEAP for us is also collected in the Energy Assistance Trust Fund. And this is the LIHEAP expansion. It just adds more funds. So this is funded at 1.6, which is a slight reduction of 305,000. So, of course, um, any reduction in you know, funding for LIHEAP would mean a reduction in the amount of households. And uh, based on the, um, the, the reduced fund funding on the federal side, as well as on just a little bit on the local side, it's a reduction of just over 6,000 households who would not receive or you know, be able to receive the low-income benefit, assuming an average benefit of 800, you know, there's quite a range of what folks can receive since it's based on, um, you know, household size, income amount, fuel type, and all of that. So, but the local reductions of that amount is only 10%, and it's mostly um, what we're um, projecting to get on the federal side. The main ARA projects 
um, the three main activities, the Weatherization Assistance Program, uh, Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grants, and the State Energy Program. Um, we have budgeted 903000 for the overall WAC. That's the picture of it in, in FY12. Um, for stimulus, this it's 328000 and then we'll also be getting the regular um, WAC grant, so that that won't stop. You know that'll continue, and that's in the amount of five hundred and seventy-four thousand. So we should be able to do to weatherize. You know that's the whole. You know um, insulation, ceiling, caulking, weather stripping, lighting upgrades to at least uh, two hundred and ninety-five homes, and then the energy efficiency and conservation block grant. We had um, MOUs with um, sister agencies. These were DDOT, DC Public Libraries, Parks and Recs, and Fire EMS. So those will be phased down, but we will still be finishing out in FY12 the nonprofit energy efficiency program, the small business energy efficiency program, the condo co-op energy efficiency program, as well as the home energy rating system, which is currently moving along quite um, successfully. And then finally, the, uh, the state energy program will be significantly ramped down also, and it's budgeted at 2.1 million, um, and that's just for you know, smaller projects. So the picture for energy, we have a reduction of nine FTEs. It's going from 58 currently to um, budgeted at 49 FTEs in FY 2012. So some of those are just, you know, vacancies that were frozen that we're just not going to fill. Others are the reductions. They are a result of the reductions in light heat and uh, stimulus funding. So that's the overall picture for energy. Great. Thank you. I think we'll hold off on questions until the end of all presentations. Uh, at this point, I'd like to introduce uh, Paul Connor, who's our Deputy Director for the Environmental Services Administration. Paul? Thank you, Krista.